How's everybody feel? Actually, man, I tell you guys, I am so damn tired. Last night, some drunk, naked woman was beating my door about five o'clock. Shit, I had to wake up and let her out. You know, I told her, you know, because, you know, uh, shit's done got out of hand. I'm riding around New York City the other day, 72-year-old prostitute jumps in the car with me. 72-year-old prostitute jumps in the car with me, talking about, ain't no shame in my game. I say ain't no teeth in your mouth either. <laughs> Has shit gotten out of hand or what? Had a man come to me the other day, he goes, excuse me, sir, but can you, can you spare a dollar so I can get home? I said, a dollar? I said, is that all you need? I said, it fucking sound like walking distance to me. <laughs> Shit has gotten out of hand. But you must ask why and how. Don't go through life not knowing what's going on. Nothing but terrible shit. And before we go to, before we move along, let's have on, on the count of three a nice see ya to Mr. Bush. One, two, three. See ya! Huh? It wasn't Bush time at all fucked up, wasn't it? He wait till the end of his term to send the troops to Somalia to help the starving people. But what puzzles me about the whole situation is that they still over there having babies. Now, I don't know about you people out here, but if I ain't had nothing eaten two, three years, <laughs> Poontang gonna be the last thing on my mind. <laughs> Shit can get out of hand. Nothing but terrible things in the news. Nothing in the news but rape, sex, drugs, and violence. I said to myself, I'm gonna stop reading the sports page altogether. <laughs> Shit can get out of hand. But you must ask why and how. And I know y'all read about them serial killers that's been sweeping the nation. Scared me. I didn't know what a serial killer was. I didn't eat breakfast for a month. <laughs> I didn't. They said, Lenny, what you want for breakfast? Nothing, honey. <laughs> but you saw this man, Jeffrey Dahmer. The man chopped up 15 people and ate them. I think we should send his ass out to California and let Judge Wapner hear his case. <laughs> right, because you know when you go see Judge Wapner, if you ain't got no estimates, no receipts, you can kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> Chopped up 15 people, chopped them up, ate them up, pleaded in Santee and went to jail. Mike Tyson ate one person. Shit's done got out of hand. And if that wasn't enough for you in the news, I got sick of the Amy Fisher story. You know, I got sick of that. And I got sick of looking at that Mary Jo Budafuku on the news. <laughs> You know, with her mouth all twisted to the side, you know. And she showed no remorse, your honor. I'm like, get the fuck off the news. Thank y'all, New York. Good night. Thank you. Peace.